For those that have never experienced uh, Indian Village, uh, tell us what it is. This is our second year in a brand new location. Every single day, there's about close to 40 programs that run every single day. We have traditional games. Um, hand game, stick game. We have our daily powwow. We have a competition powwow next week. And we have interpreters that are doing traditional cooking. We have uh, interpreters there to take people on a tour and walk them around. There are many events. And then we have um, a lot of our performers. They're, they're going to be performing in the rodeo. We have our young youth dancers that are going to do two shows with the show band. Um, we have our Indian relay races that are going to be uh, Tuesday, th- Wednesday, and Thursday, and that they're gonna. It's gonna happen right after the trucks and before the grandstand show. We also have uh, performers in the grandstand show. So this year we've increased the number of programming that we have throughout Calgary Stampede as well as having the Treaty 7 Chiefs as the parade marshals this year. Lowell, let's talk about, uh, of course, on each day there will be a special day for, uh, you know, Treaty 7, uh, you know, Pecani, Kainai, Tribe Days, so like that. Tell us yes. all about that. Um, on Tribe Days at the uh, village, we have, like example, Sixagon Nation. Um, each nation is going, they're going to have their day, and we have them showcasing uh, their people. So that day is specifically for them to do... Um, a powwow and some people may have an honor dance at that time they showcase their performers the leadership from all the nations have been invited to participate as well so we have that five different days loa bb from the tp village in calgary of the east calgary stampede joining cfwa a lot of the buzz right now is the brand new bannock building tell us all about that the new bannock booth has more capacity than the other one. If, if you were, if you've ever been to the Calgary Stampede, you can see how popular our Bannock booth is. Uh, last year, on a very first Sunday, we sold a record of seven thousand units. So we have um, an interpretive staff of close to thirty. We have an event staff that's also close to thirty. We have uh, a Bannock booth staff that I believe they have twenty-eight, and they're all from um, from the Treaty Seven Nation. So that that's going on and it's extremely extremely popular you will find a very long lineup most times and so we are working to increase and the speed this year it's unbelievable how many um bannock booths oh bannocks are being sold and uh, the different items that they have loa when it comes to the indian village uh, during the calgary stampede what is that one thing that you look forward to seeing every year the favorite part of the Indian Village, uh, I'm the chair of the Indian Events Committee, and the favorite, there isn't necessarily a favorite part I have. What I enjoy the most is that our Treaty 7 nations have had this relationship going back to 1912, and I really like that we are doing this, and it's done our way, so the TP owner's way, and they're the same families that have been, go- um, been there since 1905, and we get to showcase to the entire world. I really like what Chief Wesley said um, at the beginning of the press conference regarding the parade marshals. He said this would not be the greatest outdoor show on earth without our people. And that really is true. Growing up in the village and being part of the village in almost every single area besides the rodeo, um, you could really see people from all over the entire world completely intrigued and wanting to, um, wanting to, learn about our people and the way we used to live the way we still live and and at the stampede we do it together so what do you hope people take away from indian village uh, this summer well when people come to the indian village especially from um overseas in different countries they really see the way we did live a lot of them you know as you know they still think we live that way Mm. they they see us in a modern way still practicing our culture through the 10 days, there are ceremonies and people are living there and the teepees are not necessarily open every day. Um, there's a few teepees that are open every day for people to see and go in and look at. Um, and all of this stuff belongs to those specific families. So they still see a tradition. They still see customs. They still still see protocols. All of those things are respected within our circle. And they, they also see that we are also like them. You know, we all come from na- nations and we all have careers and we all have the, so they, they learn a twofold thing. They, they learn how we're living today and how we are 
part of possibly Calgary, whatever nation we're from and where we live. And then they also see we're still practicing our old ways. You know, Loa, earlier today we retweeted a photo from Indian Village, uh, which basically overlooks the beautiful park. There must be a really big sense of pride, especially today. And definitely. Every single TP belongs to a specific family, specific family, and they were transferred to those people that hold them. So our TP owners that are at the village. And so those are passed down uh, from their families. And so they are the ones that re- bring the teepees, bring their designs. All of it is extremely respected and there's protocol around it. It is definitely a sense of pride. And I guess, I, I, like I said earlier, I can't necessarily pick a favorite. Mm-hmm. I like every single area that we have. Finally, Loa, uh, tell us the best way to get to Indian Village in Calgary. The best way to get to Indian Village, I myself always suggest to people to get on the C train. Uh, there, There is minimal parking with the expansion downtown of the park itself. There are shuttles that have specific parking and they run shuttles, especially with the heat. I would try to, uh, to catch a sea train because it takes you right to the park. Okay. Um, there is parking that's available down there. It is quite pricey in different areas. And to access the park, you can enter on the north gate. If you enter on the south gates, we are on the other side, but the new village is off, is there's access is on the north gate.